3D signatures has a new technology which is completely unique in the industry uh, because they look at the chromosomes uh, and they have, you know, a morphological as well as, you know, uh, biochemical, uh, you know, information which makes it a very precise uh, diagnostic information. Cancer is the second leading cause of death for seniors. Breakthrough developments are rapidly taking shape and one company in particular has secured patented technologies that could save millions of lives. This is an early stage investment opportunity that could yield fortunes, not just for investors, but for families all across the world looking for precise treatment technology. Learn more about this opportunity at crushthestreet.com 3D 2017. Hello, everyone, and welcome into CrushTheStreet.com. I'm Kenneth Amaduri, and uh, what I have for you today is uh, what we're calling our top medical sector stock here for CrushTheStreet.com for 2017. And here are the facts. We have 250,000 Americans turning 65 years old each year and people are are living longer and the the longer people live the more likely they'll develop illnesses that tend to occur in the later years in life such as cancer and mental illnesses uh, things that maybe people didn't deal with as much years ago uh, when people weren't living as long and so the company we are spotlighting today is 3d signatures who focuses on precision medicine and has a patented technology that is taken Taking the market by storm, and I have business director on the line with me, uh, Heiner Dreisman, to discuss the opportunity and to educate us on the advancements in the company. And just a little bit on Heiner here, uh, he's the past president and CEO of Roche Molecular Diagnostics, and uh, he's a seasoned executive with more than 24 years experience in the healthcare industry. So he's exactly the person I want to. Talk Talk to Heiner. Thanks for joining me today. My pleasure. Well, uh, the advancements in science are absolutely blowing me away, and uh, even I, I see toilets now that are returning data instantly in real time, uh, analyzing waste and uh, returning it back to doctors, and people are getting instant feedback on this. So uh, I want to specifically talk about what you guys do, but precision technology, why is it so important for the future? And what is it for everyone who isn't familiar with it? Precision medicine <clears throat> is the tailored form of diagnostics, uh, meaning uh, you do not make a, a, a call a clinical diagnosis just based on statistically average person, but you apply all modern forms of diagnostic technologies to you, the individual patient. So it's important that you know uh, about yourself, uh, what disease you have or might have or and what stage a disease is and not just being judged by average uh, knowledge of an average physician about the average population. So it's a smart medicine tool, if you will, right? So you can target your diagnosis, so the meaning the, the, the discovery of disease and your medicine, your treatment uh, of disease, much more according to your individual needs uh, as compared to the past where this was a general judgment, you know, uh, every 65 year old should have that and that disease, uh, that and that treatment. And this now is very different. We have precise precision diagnostic tools and we have precision uh, therapeutic tools. Wow. Well, and I know that it's, you know, maybe in the past it was more of a one-size-fits-all, at least from the, the data that I've seen uh, in terms of diagnosing people. And that's what you're basically saying here. And uh, the company's focus is on mental illnesses and, and also cancer. I mean, how big of an opportunity is it for a company like C 3D Signatures to be able to go in and really revolutionize it and help these areas where people are uh, dying and you know it's costing you know millions and billions of dollars uh, to treat people I mean where's the opportunity here to to really benefit the market 
where the real opportunity is, as you said, that uh, 3D signatures is in, in the cancer area, which is the area of medicine these days where most of the uh, you know research and treatment dollars go into and then they have an alzheimer disease test you know the 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 area of neurological diseases is uh, thought to be five to ten times larger than uh, the cancer field today this is certainly an area of the future and uh, it's these are huge uh, opportunities huge market opportunities and uh, those pharmaceutical companies who, which develop new therapeutics for these diseases, for cancer, say prostate cancer or for Alzheimer's diseases, they need more and more these precision diagnostic tools because many drug compounds uh, are not working in, say, 50% of people. Uh, they are only working in maybe, say, in 20% of people. And those drug companies will need those precision diagnostic tools to identify those 20% of people in which their compound is uh, is actually working. Uh, it goes so far uh, that uh, some drug companies now are developing a cancer treatment uh, for 1% of the cancer population. So only 1% of the cancer population would benefit from the treatment. But if you are uh, one of these 1%, you get 100%, almost 100% cure. You get real cancer cure, right? Mm. Uh, so you need these kind of te diagnostic technologies to identify those patients that are eligible for uh, certain, you know, high precision drugs. And 3D signatures has a new technology which is completely unique in the industry uh, because they look at chromosomes uh, and they have, you know, a morphological as well as, you know, uh, biochemical, uh, you know, information which makes it a very precise uh, diagnostic information. Heiner, so you're talking about a technology that's that helps the people with the illness you're talking about people a technology that's going to help pharmaceutical companies uh who else I mean, is the insurance companies going to benefit from the technology of, of 3d signatures as well absolutely you know they are you know first of course patients are the the primary uh, reason that these companies do this you know and 3d signature wants to help patients but Talking, you know, economics here. The insurance companies are those uh, who are driving uh, these uh, these kind of developments because they want to avoid that expensive cancer drugs. And these drugs cost hundred thousand dollars and more per year and per patient will be applied to patients uh, where they do not benefit, right? Where they, patients that have no benefit from these drugs. So the the insurance companies. Uh, they uh, they are all over you know the diagnostic field right now. They want to identify and want to prescribe you know some drugs here. They would not even reimburse anymore if not a specific diagnostics has been uh, done before to validate the efficacy of of the drug treatment. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a general trend uh, and it's enforced by the fact that the regulatory agencies. Uh, you know, see it the same way. You know, they all want precision medicine uh, to to happen because it's such a more cost-effective way uh, to uh, to um, to um, treat diseases. And diagnostic companies will be the big winners of this new trend in healthcare. Mm. Currently, the healthcare sector spends approximately two percent of all its expenses in diagnostics, right? 15 to 20% are pharmaceuticals, the rest is hospitals. And uh, if you increase, you know, those 2% diagnostic uh, expenses, say by 50%, by 100%, then you uh, still only have three or 4% of the overall healthcare cost, but you for sure can, can save, you know, five, to 10% of your pharmaceutical, you know, expenses. And, and that is a big economic driver. Sure. And it's a, it's a big deal for a company such as, as yourself. Uh, talking about that, Heiner, what are some of, <clears throat> of the validations that the company has received regarding the technology and uh, the viability of it in the marketplace? Well, they are, you know, this is, uh, you know, 
uh, an extraordinary uh, um, 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 starting point for a startup company in diagnostics. Why do I say this? Because this technology <clears throat> has been developed in over 20 years of research at academic centers. And our lead scientist, Sabina Mai, has been doing this for, for many, many years. So this technology has seen investments of more than $25 million dollars in R&D so far, and here's the important point, more than 120 publications, peer-reviewed publications, uh, are fighting or are describing this kind of technology. So this is not a brand new technology for the field. You know, the field has seen validation for many different diseases, actually. There are many uh, cancers and uh, neurological diseases that has been tried. And uh, it's what we call a platform technology. It's, it's a general technology that can be applied to many applications in the diagnostic field. And that is, it, it, is its, uh, you know, particular strengths. Mm -hmm. Now, the valid validation always will, will come, uh, you know, in, in additional clinical trials. And the company, you know, is, uh, is on the market. Uh, it is raising money to, to do exactly those, you know, additional regulatory uh, clinical trials, uh, which will make you know, the regulatory agencies uh, approve the essays and then the insurance companies, which is the important part for the economic uh, dimension of, uh, of the company, uh, pay and, and reimburse for these essays. So the validation has been, the validation of the, the general technology has been completed. You know, uh, we know it's working great. Now the validation of each and uh, every product each individual product has begun. Yeah, a lot, a lot of forces at play there uh, for the market and uh, going and, and discussing that. I mean, we're this is a, a website here where we uh, we look for opportunities, you know, value. And this is an early stage company. And I know there's a, a lot of exciting developments to come. Uh, what sort of developments do you expect or, or can investors expect here as we go into 2017 and 2018 and for the next couple years that you're anticipating? So the, 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 the good news, the good because it's, it, it is predictable, the, the, the good news on this, the, you know, these kind of companies is they have launched, you know, a portfolio of uh, product development projects, you know, some further along, some uh, earlier, uh, and these represent very clear-cut milestones, right? So this is product development, you would run, you know, a clinical validation study, and the clinical validation study is a huge milestone, you know, for uh, for for the company, so let's let's assume the Alzheimer's or the, the prostate cancer test uh, will perform well in those clinical trials, and we have all reason to believe because we we, we did some pre trials, so we have a clear expectation on on the outcome and the diagnostic performance, and then you have you know. Uh, access to those markets, which is significant. So each and every of these uh, individual projects uh, represent, uh, you know, a certain milestone. And we have a, a pipeline of, uh, of, portfolio, of, of uh, projects here. Uh, so there's a flow, a constant flow of, uh, of additional milestone and value inflection points. I would say. You know, we go to each of these, uh, these new applications will give the company commercial access to different fields of, of medicine, different fields of diagnostics, uh, which of course is very, uh, it's uh, very important. Mm. Well, all, then, all cutting edge information there. And uh, Heiner, I, I do want to thank you for coming on the show with me today and uh, sharing your, your experience, your expertise, and you know, for many of us, educating us on what the future uh, holds uh, for the medical industry. So uh, again, sir, thank you for coming on the show. I, I really do appreciate it. Okay, my pleasure. Thanks for having me.